Ever wondered who the richest man in Uganda is? So have we. Let us tell you about Surir Ruparelia, a man with an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion. He owns a huge mansion, a private jet and many luxury cars. Make sure to subscribe and watch until the end, where we will give you an inside peek of his massive private property. Sudhir Ruparelia is the founder of Ruparelia Group, one of Uganda's largest conglomerates. The company owns a commercial bank, a string of hotels and country clubs and more than 200 commercial properties. He started building his empire in Uganda in 1985 after returning from the United Kingdom, where he went after being expelled from Uganda by then-president Ida Amin in 1972, along with the other Asians in the country. Ruparelia began by importing beer and salt from Kenya and subsequently started a foreign exchange bureau, which laid the foundation for his entry into commercial banking. In 2013, he acquired Victoria University, Kampala. Sudhir Ruparelia was born on the 17th of January in 1956, and according to Forbes in 2019, Ruparelia was the wealthiest individual in Uganda, with an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion. On the 20th of October 2016, the Bank of Uganda, which regulates all banks in Uganda, took control of Crane Bank, the largest subsidiary of the Ruparelia Group, due to a significant decline in capital and potential run on the bank. Now we know a little bit about the richest man in Uganda, let's dive a little deeper into his background and really learn how he got to be the successful businessman he is today. Ruparelia was born in Kabatoro, Kasi's district in the western region of Uganda to an upper middle class Indian Gujarati family. His great grandfather reached Mombasa, Kenya in 1897 from India and set up a trading store there before coming to Uganda in 1903. His grandfather was born in Uganda in 1908 and his father in 1932. Ruparelia has two sisters and one brother. He attended Bat Valley Primary School in Kampala from P1 to P6, then Jinja Main Street Primary School in Jinja for P7 and Jinja Secondary School. In 1971, he joined Kodolo Senior Secondary School. Ruparelia fled to the United Kingdom with his parents in 1972 at the age of 16, when the dictator Ida Amin expelled all Asians from Uganda. Ruparelia returned to Uganda in 1985, with 25,000 US dollars earned from several casual jobs including working in supermarkets, factories and butcheries. Ruparelia started selling beer and spirits imported from Kenya. In 1989, beer importation was banned to encourage local brewing of alcohol and he realized he could not make beer. But since his customers, who were mainly foreigners, paid him in foreign currency, he started Crane Forex Bureau, the first in Uganda. With his profits, Ruparelia ventured into other businesses, including forming Crane Bank in 1995. Later, he organized his business under the umbrella of the Ruparelia Group. In 2007, Ruparelia was awarded an honorary Doctor of Laws degree in business by the Uganda Pentecostal University in recognition of his contribution to Uganda's economic growth. And then in February 2020, Ruparelia was appointed as Honorary Consul of the Republic of Nepal to Uganda by Bidya Devi Bandari, the President of Nepal. On the 17th of March 2020, he presented his credentials to Samuel Kutisa, Uganda's Foreign Minister. He reports to the nearest substantive Nepalese embassy in Cairo, Egypt. Sudhir Ruparelia is the only Ugandan and East African to make it to the Forbes list of Africa's wealthiest men. As one of the most successful residential and commercial property developers in Kampala, Sudhir's firm Mira Investments Ltd has over 300 properties throughout Uganda. Besides other properties owned by his firm, the Ruparelia residence is one of a kind. Sudhir owns a house worth 10 million US dollars, located on plot 9 Kawalya Kakwa Close in Lower Kololo. Many have passed by the Ruparelia residence, but only a few have seen the interior. Are you curious about the size of his bedroom? Would you like to know the overall look of the bathrooms? Are you curious if the furnishings and fittings connotate stunning designs? Now let's get into some fun facts about the mansion. Sudhir purchased the property in Lower Kodolo on Plot 9, Kawalya Kahwa Road in 1990 for 200,000 US dollars, which he paid in installments. Later on, he demolished the house and rebuilt a modern one befitting of his status. The Ruparelia residence has four levels. The built-up area is 9,000 square meters. The house has 16 bedrooms, of which 8 rooms are for the staff and 8 bedrooms are for the Ruparelia family. The family's 8 bedrooms include a 3-bedroom wing for Rajiv Ruparelia. 
One bedroom for the senior Ruperelia, one for Sheena Ruperelia, one for Mira Ruperelia and two more for the guests. The house cost 10 million in designing, building, equipment and finishing. The entire process took four years. Aside from the 16 bedrooms, the home features a 120 seat banquet room, five kitchens, multiple lounges, many dining rooms, over three bars, a 12 seater cinema, a temperature controlled wine cellar with 33,000 bottles of 200 different wines and whiskies, a fully equipped gym, saloon, a spa, a hammam, a Turkish bath, a laundry room and a cafeteria for the domestic employees. Sudir has 46 domestic staff at the Ruperilia residence. They equipped the entire house with smart temperature and sound controls. Dr. Sudir estimated that his typical household's electricity expense is 28 million. According to Sudir, his wife kept changing architects to get the exclusive home built. The final product is indeed worth it. Each member of the Ruperilia family was allowed to design their living quarters. Impressive, right? Now you know who the richest man in Uganda is, how he got rich and how he lives. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and remember the sky's the limit.